Once upon a time in the projects. Cardboard condo, homeboy in a homemade bungalow. In the middle of the end of the day, in one way to save our projects. Oh, but Muriel, it's Saturday, the one day I get to goof off on my own time. We're planning our first annual Projects Week. Isn't that wonderful, Thurgood? Projects Week? Now, how long is that gonna last? <laughs> Thurgood is seven days of community events celebrating the richness and beauty of the projects. Boring. I think we should have a talent show. Mm. You hear me snoring over here, don't you? Mm. Now, I thought I'd capture the week's festivities on tape. Kinda like a video journal. Well, Jimmy and I got a video camera you can use. Just mount it back on our ceiling when you're done. Ooh. Uh, okay. And of course, the whole week will culminate with the project's wide gumbo cook-off. Didn't I tell y'all to stop flapping your gumbo? Hey, sign me up. Everybody knows my stock rocks. My chicken is kicking, and my shiz rip is the shiz nit. And no one can touch your spicy sausage. Yeah, especially with my crabs all over it. Finally, it's gonna be proven once and for all that I am the greatest gumbo chef in all the projects. At last, a peaceful end to this bitter East Coast, West Coast gumbo war. Stupak, you should not die in vain. And Goody, look what first prize is. The Gumbo Tron 3000. The Gumbo Tron 3000? Muriel, that's the gumbo pot the astronauts use. Shut up, you old bag of dust. I'm practicing for the talent show. So leave me alone! Unless you want to the judges. Nah, I really need that pot. To throw up in. Hey, boys, get a whiff of this pot. Don't poke out it, Juicy. Let Calvin have a sniff. Yeah, what you think? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it makes you hungry, don't it? Give you the munchies, don't it? Hey, Super, what's this? Don't play with that baster, boy. That's the secret to my gumbo. I base my meat first. It looks like the mop you use to mop up the toilet water. Yeah, that's right, but remember, they're not interchangeable. Three days in intensive care taught me that. Hey, Super, can we help? No, that's best left to master bases like myself. Aww. Now run along, run along. I don't want y'all watching me. Now, people, this is only a dress rehearsal. On opening night, you'll have to remember to hold for laughter, Applause, and very rude people. Okay, Calvin, you're on. I am the downward spiral of poverty. All our blizzard face Johnson. With Kennedy at long last out of the way, I could finally build housing projects to centralize America's poor and disenfranchised. Let me help you get on your feet! <laughs> Mrs. Avery, if you can't remember your part, just say line. Line, line, line. Of the United States of America. Okay, let's break for lunch. I'm carrying this shoe. Okay, everybody, it's time to sample my soon-to-be mm. prize when an entry into cook-off. Uncle Thurgood's real old time down home store bought style pure premium gumbo from Concentrate. It's delicious, goody, just like always. It's the only thing you do right. Well, I uh, thank you very much. I bet the devil himself couldn't make a better gumbo. You think so? I could ask. Oh, I got to know your recipe. No, no, I don't think so. It's top secret. Is there cayenne pepper in it? I just told you I can't tell you. <laughs> 
You better tell me. Cayenne pepper gives me a stroke. <laughs> well, thanks, Mrs. Avery. Now everybody knows it's cayenne in it. But that's all you're going to get out of me. That recipe is safely locked away up here. And trust me, nothing ever gets in or out. And if anybody ever found out about my recipes, I'd have to kill them. Tomato, onion, garlic, what the celery, bacon grease, more bacon grease, and what's this your sauce? Leah Parrots, 1985, I should think. Muriel, get my gun. They're good, no. But Muriel, that's my secret recipe that boy is reciting. How do you know what's in it? I don't know. I could just taste it. But it seems to be missing something. Don't you think? No, I do not think. Oh, I know. It needs some bay leaves. Three bay leaves. Hey, get away from my gumbo. Sarlons! Oh. Yeah, much better. <laughs> some apple cider vinegar. A little lemon zest. Mm. Oh. Chocolate box. You're destroying it! Mm, yeah, that's much more complex on the palate. Try it. I think you'll find it in sushi without being recherche. <laughs> this is the tastiest thing I've had in my mouth all day! Hey, right back at you. Thurgood, it's really exceptional. Mm, you should try it. All right, I'll try it. But I gotta warn y'all, I have the refined taste of an aristocrat. <laughs> I've had better. Oh, Lord, it's like there's a house party in my mouth. Ooh. What are y'all looking at? It would be a sin against all that is unholy if you don't enter the contest and crush the super. Crush him like the bug he is. You know you really should. Miriam! Well, he's very talented. Oh, wow. Isn't this great super? We gonna be in the cook-off together. <laughs> you and me, side by side. May the best gumbo win. Yeah, like you got a chance. <laughs> All right, first some hot sauce. Gotta have lots of hot sauce. Now a spoonful of peanut butter. Wait, make a jiff, cause I'm a choosy mother. Huh? Hey, there we go. Yeah, see that third good? If you put your mind to it, you can beat a ten-year-old boy. Now for the taste. Oh, Lord! It burns! The Lord, it burns! It's sticking to the roof of my mouth! God, why, why do you torment me so? And so, to continue the metaphor, if the projects are a living, breathing body, then truly the superintendent is its brain stem. <laughs> Well, there goes my image award. The saints are good. Run your hair under the water. Kane is a grease file. Why ain't you helping me? I'm a documentary filmmaker. I can't get involved with the subject. I'm dead, Muriel. I'm dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, damn. Ah. Okay, it's out. It's out. Oh, oh. thanks, Muriel. Oh. Hey, where'd you, where'd you get that thing? It's a fire extinguisher. We have them on every wall, you know. Oh, is that what that is? I thought those was jetpacks for the upcoming race war. I think I'm gonna shut this camera off now. Okay, they're good. You got to start from scratch. Forget everything you know, that shouldn't be too hard. Now, I must be one with the gumbo. You are the gumbo. You are the gumbo. Oh, I ain't no gumbo. This is crusty, smelly, full of malt liquor, and this gumbo is stupid. I know if I'm having this much trouble, Juicy got to be having this much trouble, too. <gasps> so graceful. So effortless. God, he's beautiful. I must destroy him. I know what I'll do. I'll psych him out. Oh, hi, Super. Stop it! Your mind games won't work on me. What? Uh-oh, oh, nothing, nothing. Did you come up to help me? Well, I think I helped you enough when I gave you my recipe to use against me. It would mean a lot to me to have your opinion. Of course it would. Remember, I've tasted the best gumbos and money and food Sam's can buy. And it takes a lot to impress Holy Mary Wilson Mother Motown. What's wrong, Super? Oh, 
them must be the onions. There's no one you in there. Can't you tell just by tasting it? No, I can't, you freak! What? You think you're so smart cooking up here all alone in your teen and ivory tower, but wait till the contest when everybody's watching you, betting on you to fail. That's when you really start to sweat. Of course, you can't handle the pressure of knowing that if you fail at this, you'll have to return to a dead-end life of plunging toilets and... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, great. Now I got to clean that up. You okay, Super? <clears throat> like I was saying, you gotta have nerves of steel. Well, I'm just gonna try to have fun. But there is one part of the contest I am worried about. Really? What's that? The artistic interpretation. I think it's my weakest category. You know the worst part, Miriam? Is Juicy Gumbo tastes just as good coming up as it does going down. I think you're taking this contest too seriously, Thurgood. Projects Week is supposed to be fun. Muriel, I can't lose this contest. My gumbo is the only reason folks respect me. When the people of this project think of gumbo, they think of me because Thurgood stuff means gumbo. Don't you see? I'm gumbo, damn it! Thurgood! Gumbo's my passion, Muriel. Gumbo's my only love. Now, Thurgood, I'm sure if you think about it, there's something else you love. Muriel, I don't want a 40. I just threw up. I'll get you a glass of water. Muriel, you're so good to me. That's why I like you. Gumbo, juicy. Oh, I can't sleep. Must get mine off juicy. So upset, can't use pronouns. Maybe I'll just watch my happy tape. We the jury in the case of the people versus Orenthal James Simpson. Finally, defendant, not... Hi, it's Muriel oh? Stubbs, and this is Projects Week. Muriel taped over my tape? Is there no justice in this world? Well, maybe she didn't tape over Mr. Johnny inciting the crowd. Here we are at the most beautiful part of the projects, the roof, with its majestic sewer gas release pipe and broken air conditioner. Oh, and there's Juicy working on his secret gumbo recipe. Whoa, 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 stop the Bronco. If I watch this tape, I'll find out what's in Juicy's stock, and then I can improve upon it and beat him at his own game. Wait a minute, what am I saying? That's cheating. I'm looking at the other team's playbook. Very good, you better have yourself a talk with the man in the mirror, and you better be brutally honest. Hello, handsome. Now, what should I do? Put that damn tape in already. Okay, you get the popcorn. I'm a reflection, idiot. Not no more. Okay. He fires two shots of Tabasco, and then another shot from behind the greasy bowl. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. But what is it? Wait a minute. Bouillon! Of course! A magic bouillon! Well, you see, it seems the rotisserie has turned because now I have your secret ingredient. And I'm gonna win this contest and reclaim my dignity. And your sanity. Right, good looking out. Uh, hey, Juicy still making that same delicious gumbo? Huh, you know it, Super. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <clears throat> well, here we are on the final day of Projects Week, and what a success it's been! I'm happy to report that this week's turnout was well over 80%. Oh, and I also see the crime was down 80%. What a happy coincidence. Now, before we begin the cook-off, a brief announcement. There's a lost little girl. Cook-off! Uh, okay. Here's our host, Walter Burkett. Good afternoon, and welcome to the first annual Hilton Jacobs Gumbo Cook-Off. Sponsored by Ho's Chinese Chow and Chow's Chinese Ho's. An hour later, you'll be hungry for more and dim sum. Okay, now let's meet our contestant. Our first contestant to know a thing or two about soul food. He's from Korea. <laughs> Tell us, Jimmy, do you cook meat by the pound or from the pound? Hey, I told you, I don't eat dog. <laughs> now, 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 it was just a little racially divisive joke to celebrate our differences. Hola. Hey, Frida Bandito. 
Our next contestant is Smokey. Now, it says here you used to be a human being. Well, how about that? So what brings you to the contest today? You holding it in my bedroom. Next up, we got Juicy Hudson. I've heard a lot of good things about your stock, boy. Is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to my cardiologist who gave me a bypass instead of an artificial heart. Yeah, thanks for keeping it real. Ha, <laughs> yeah. And our last contestant is our own third good. Will you just start the damn cook off, please? Who invented charcoal? Uh, charcoal? Boy, you really are pathetic, aren't you? Uh. After nine events, Thurgood Stubbs has a commanding lead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now we come to the final event, which will count for 97% of the total score. Uh. The event, of course, is the actual cooking of the gumbo, Miss Haiti. Let the flames begin! Gentlemen, stop looking and start cooking! Oh, why they get their stewing done? Let's get our viewing on! Muriel Max Films presents Song of the South Side. A Muriel Stubbs joint. When people think of urban housing projects, they think of poverty and despair. But the projects are so much more than that. Don't take my word for it. I think the tenants say it best. What do you like best about the projects? That I'm gonna die soon and get out of here. This place makes me sick. My God, who is that angry bit old man? The projects are a wonderful place to live, full of kind-hearted folks like me. You see, I just want you to know that this contest is nothing personal, and if I win, I'm going to still treat you with the same respect I always have. Oh, thanks, Super. I'll do the same if I win. If you win. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you win. You win. <laughs> <laughs> you win. Now, what do you like best about the projects? Three friendships. Basketball. School. The shopping. The proximity to hell. The super. Because he takes care of everybody in the projects. I only entered the contest to be with the super. He's my best friend. Oh. God, you just want to be my friend. And here I am plotting against him when he put his little clogged heart and soul into this contest. Juicy deserves to win. And as Judy is my judge, Juicy will win. But how? I've got the better stock. Sabotage it, huh? Oh, hello, handsome. You got to add something so stank and so terrible and foul that it repels everyone who comes near it. But what? Your cologne, Thurgood. Hey, that's a good idea, Thurgood. Thank you. That's perfect. Ah, that's the smell of Thurgood. The smell of defeat. If you'd like to learn more about the projects, visit your local library. Soon, if possible. Now it's time for the judging of the gumbo. Not bad. Not bad. Bad. Hi. Mmm. Oh, ooh, that's, that's bold and spicy. This tastes as good as the gumbo puttanesca my mama made for my Uncle John's. Now we have one last contestant. What are you cooked up for us today, Thurgood? Just a little stew by Thurgood. Take a big bag, Walter. Make sure you get a lot of juice. With pleasure. <coughs> uh, Thurgood, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. 
I'd like to announce that your gumbo is good, but it seems to have left me temporarily blind. What should I do? Well, I guess you should say my gumbo is bad. You may also want to induce vomiting and consult your physician. Uh, <clears throat> I have an announcement. Uh, Walter, the crowd is this way. Thurgood Stew? Blue! Oh. Now you better announce the winner. And quick, I I'm starting to lose my motor control. And now the moment y'all been waiting for. The winner of today's contest is... Well, Juicy, I guess the best man won. Smokey! What? <laughs> Folks, I've got to tell you, this is the best gumbo I've ever tasted. It's downright addictive. I can see. I can see. I, I also think I can fly. Uh, what is what is your secret, Crack Pepper? Mm, close. Well, Smokey, let's see what you won. Ooh, hey, hey. It, it, it's beautiful. Oh, my God, I love this. <laughs> and it's a mobile home. Well, now, that's just sad. Well, Juicy, I think you should take the gumbo trine. You deserve it. Aw, uh, I thought we could share it. Yeah, I guess sharing is the right thing to do, huh? Amigos, can I share too? Get lost, Sanchez. Can't you see I'm bonding with Fatso? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>